Hey guys, so this practice is for tight hamstrings. So all you need for this practice is a strap like this. If you don't have this, a rope, a dog lead, um, a thing of a dressing rope, the tie thing will do. Just something solid to support your leg during a stretch. Um, so have a lie onto your back. Grab your strap, pop your right foot in the strap. Now the strap should be able to support the weight of the leg so your muscles aren't working too hard. Um, and then from here, we're going to mobilize our hamstrings with three different little moves. So the first move is bending your knee into your chest and then straightening the leg out so the knee is straight. So I don't care, your leg doesn't have to be right over your hip. I want the knee straight, so just straighten it out lower to the ground if you're really tight. Um, so you're just going to do four or five of these guys, knee into the chest and then straighten the leg out just to get the muscles shortening and lengthening in a gentle way. And then keep the knee straight and we're going to mobilize through the foot. So point your toes away and then pull the toes down towards your chest. When you pull the foot down towards your chest, you should feel an increased stretch in the back of your leg. It might be in the calf or the hamstring. This stretch gets your sciatic nerve, which supplies your hamstrings. Then after two or three more of these guys, you're going to keep those toes pulled down towards your chest. And we're going to mobilize now from the hip. So we did the knee, we did the ankle, now we're going to do the hip. So imagine your heel, it's like a top of a pen, and think about drawing a smiley face with that heel. So it goes down, up, and across, and you will get a real strong stretch at the end of that movement. And then it goes down, up, and across, and the stretch will be easier out here. So when the leg goes across the body, you'll put more of a stretch on your sciatic nerve. You should only feel the stretch through the back of the leg. If you feel it in your lower back, it is too much ease off. Just leave this bit out and do the other two for longer. Cool, last one of these guys. And then swap over the feet. So let's go three, through our three little movements on the left leg. So bring the knee into your chest and straighten it out. Going to do another four of these guys, just shortening and lengthening your hamstring muscles in a really gentle way. The weight of your leg rests into that strap real heavy. On the next one, keep your legs straight, point the toes away, pull the toes down towards your body. And you're just going to do two or three more of these. When you pull that foot down, you should get a good stretch through the back of the leg into the calf and the hamstring. And the last one might be an option for some people. And if your body doesn't like it, don't do it. Keep the knees straight, keep the toes pulled down towards your chest and imagine drawing a smiley face with your heel. It goes down, up and across. You'll get the most stretch here. And then it goes down, up and across to the other side. The stretch should ease off significantly. And we're just gonna do four more of these. You should only feel the stretch in the back of the leg. If you feel it in your lower back, it is too much. Don't do this one if you feel it in your back. If you feel it in the leg, it is a great way to mobilize your hamstring sciatic nerve. Last one. Pop your foot out of the strap and then we're going to come up into standing for our last hamstring mobility. So you're going to have a stand on the mat with your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart and your toes and your knees can point outwards. And then from here, you're just going to reach your arms over your head. Then bring your hands together and bring them down through the front of your chest. And you're going to squat down as low as you can comfortably go. So this might be it for some people and that is fine. Uh, if you can go a little lower, do. And then when you're down here, you can do a little rock from side to side very gently. Then we're going to place our hands towards the ground. If you're up really high, you can have a block or a book or something to bring the ground up to you a little bit. Um, straighten the knees so you get a good stretch into the hamstrings. So the knees press back towards the wall behind you. And then you can bring your hands to your legs as you round up. Stand really tall, palms face forward, then reach your arms overhead again. 
Hands come down to the center of your chest. Elbows are kind of poking out to the side. Lower down into your deep squat. Have a little rock from side to side. Hands go towards the ground. Straighten the legs. So it's like you're lifting your bum up towards the ceiling, pressing the back of the knees back towards the wall behind you. You'll feel a good strong stretch in your hamstrings. Then bring the hands to the thighs. Come all the way up. Palms face forward, stand tall. And we'll just do one more, arms overhead. Fold, so you fold at the hips, the knees, the ankles. And if you've got a limitation in one of those joints, this might be a little bit hard. So just go back to that exercise on the floor. You'll feel a nice strong stretch in the hamstrings here when you lift the hips up, press the knees back. And then hands to the thighs and come all the way up, reaching the arms overhead. And you're all done with your hamstring mobility, a nice, easy, gentle one on the floor, and then a more dynamic, more difficult one in standing.